We do different types of breathing through the fascial maneuvers. For this class, I will guide you through each breath so that we breathe together in sync. When we synchronize our breath, it's more powerful. There's different types. First one is breathing in through the mouth and out through the mouth, regular breathing. So you're gonna go hold and then exhale. The second type is in through the nose, hold and exhale through the mouth. And the third one is staged breaths. We're only gonna do this once throughout the class where you actually breathe in through the mouth and you hold it, breathe in some more, hold, breathe in some more, hold, and then you're gonna exhale. The reason why we alternate between breathing through the mouth and breathing through the nose is because when we're bringing air into the body, it goes into different sections and it opens up different areas. For example, if we breathe in through the mouth, it goes, it goes in from the diaphragm down into our hips. So we're opening up more of the fascia and the restrictions from the diaphragm down. Whereas when we breathe through the nose, it's from the diaphragm up into the shoulders, the neck and the head. You see the body as a balloon that has external and internal pressure. And we're constantly balancing that throughout the movements. The second technique that I'm going to talk about is spinal pelvic lock. So for spinal pelvic lock, is we're pulling in our belly button to our spine, you're going to pull your sex organs up, almost like you're holding your pee, and you're going to lock that in place. And if you want to advance it, you can also vacuum so you can suck your belly into your spine. The reason why we're doing that is we're pulling all of the fascia into the center of the body and it realigns all the bones, the muscles, the organs around the spine. Take off any watches, jewelry, anything that restricts the body that's really tight, earrings as well. The less that you have on the body, the better because anything that's on the body that compresses the fascia restricts our movement. We're going to stand shoulder width apart. This one's called totally twisted, one of the most powerful movements. We're bringing the body into a standing fetal position. And in that position, the body naturally starts to heal itself. You can do this seated or standing. You're going to cross your right foot over your left foot. You can widen your feet a little bit if you want more balance. And if you find that you can't keep balance or you're losing your balance, it's better to sit down and maintain your balance so your body feels safe throughout the movement. Take your right hand, put it under your left armpit left hand on top, give yourself a nice hug. We're gonna pull in our spinal pelvic box, pull your belly button into your spine. We're gonna turn the head to the left and then your body all the way to the right. Stick your tongue in your left cheek and find a tight spot and hold it there. We're gonna breathe in through the nose together. Breathe in. Two. Three, four, five, six. Good. Relax your tongue. Relax your shoulders. You can rotate a little bit further if you'd like to. Pull your spinal pelvic block in. We're gonna breathe in in staged breaths through the mouth. So breathe in through the mouth and hold it. Breathe in, hold, breathe in some more. Breathe in some more, hold it and exhale. Breathe in, breathe in some more, breathe in some more, hold. Exhale, relax the shoulders, feel your feet, breathe in, breathe in some more, breathe in some more, and exhale, good, lock your eyes over your left shoulder on one spot, we're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth in regular breaths, so breathe in through the nose and exhale. Two and out. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
Good, come back to center. Give yourself a nice hug. We're gonna look the other way. So slowly turn your head to the right. Turn your body to the left. Stick your tongue in your right cheek, find a tight spot. It might be a little bit different than the other side. Once you've got it, hold it there. Breathe in through the nose. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Relax your tongue, relax your shoulders. We're gonna do stage breaths. So breathe in through the mouth and hold it. Breathe in. Breathe in some more. Breathe in some more. Hold. Exhale. Breathe in. More. More. Exhale. Breathe in, more, more, exhale, good, relax your body, rotate a bit further, lock your eyes on one spot, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth in regular breaths, breathe in, two, Three, four, five, and six. Whew. We're gonna walk around in a figure eight pattern because that's how the body likes to integrate the changes. If you're seated and you can't walk around, you can just move your hands in the figure eight. Everybody is going to experience something come up in their body throughout this class. These maneuvers, they give the body the time and space that it needs to heal. It moves the fascia around. So the muscles, the bones, the organs, and everything rebalances itself. So if something comes up throughout the class, observe it, acknowledge it, and then let's keep moving forward. So let's do the other side, cross the left foot over the right. <laughs> Left hand under the right armpit, right arm on top. Give yourself a nice hug. Pull your belly button into your spine, sex organs up, hold them in place. Lock your spinal pelvic lock. We're gonna turn our head to the right. Turn your body to the left. Stick your tongue in your right cheek. This time I want you to find a different spot and really push into it. Push the fascia out as much as you can and hold it there. And then we're gonna breathe in through the nose. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Good, relax your tongue. Rotate a little bit further. We're gonna do stage breaths. So breathe in through the mouth. Breathe in some more. Breathe in some more. And exhale. Breathe in. Breathe in more. Breathe in more. Hold. Exhale. One more time, breathe in, two, three, exhale. Lock your eyes over your right shoulder, relax your body, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth in regular breaths, breathe in. Two, Three, four, 
four. Five and six. Good. Come back to center. Keep your hands where they are. Turn your head to the left. Turn your body to the right. Pull your spinal pelvic lock in. Stick your tongue in your left cheek. Find a tight spot and hold it there. Breathe in through the nose. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Relax your tongue, purse your lips, breathe air in through the mouth, into the lungs, in stage breaths, breathe in. Two, three, hold, exhale. Breathe in. Two, three, hold, exhale. Breathe in, two, three, exhale. Good, relax your body, lock your eyes on one spot. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, in regular breaths, breathe in. Two, Three, four, five, and six. Ooh. We're going to go for a walk. Might feel a little lightheaded. Walk it off and then let us know how you're doing in the comments. Next one we're going to do is anti gravity. Interlock your hands and fingers. Go to the back of your neck. If you have long hair, go right on the skin, go underneath, grab it, pull it up, pull your spinal pelvic lock in, look up at the sky, breathe in through the mouth, hold, breathe in some more, hold. Breathe in some more, hold, exhale. Breathe in through the mouth, more, more, hold, exhale. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, breathe in and out, in, out, in, out. Slowly tuck your chin, breathe in through the mouth, hold it, slowly look up to the right as far as you can, exhale back down to center. Breathe in, hold, look up to the left, exhale down. In, to the right, exhale down. In, to the left and down, in, right, down, in, left, and down. Slightly bend your knees. Push your butt back as far as you can coming into a squat with your chest over your toes. Pull the skin on the back of your neck away from your tailbone. Breathe in through the mouth. Hold. Look up to the right, exhale down. Breathe in, look up to the left, exhale down. In, to the right, and down. 
in the left down in right down in left down now come into a full squat do the best that you can tuck your chin crawl into a ball breathe in through the mouth and out through the mouth breathe in and out two and out three and out in through the nose out through the mouth two three it's slowly come up butt first And then uncurl vertebrae by vertebrae until you're looking up at the sky. Whew. Might be a little lightheaded or very lightheaded after that one. Walk around. That one's a full spinal decompression. We're going to do pallet swipe. So this one's actually a, a unique movement because what we're doing is we're swiping the roof of your mouth from the right molar to the left molar. Like if it was like this, I'm gonna swipe it. Nice and firm grip from right to left. What we're doing is we're moving that palate back into place. We're gonna do it in the totally twisted position. So cross your right foot over your left foot. Take your right hand, put on the left shoulder. Left hand on top. And you're gonna take your right thumb and you're gonna go to the roof of your mouth on the right molar, and you're going to swipe across to the left molar. And then bring it down, and we're going to go six times. Two, three, four, five, and six. And unwind. Oh, I get a I get a bobblehead when I do that. Some of you may feel a little bit more balance in your feet, and the reason why is because this informs the pelvic floor which way to turn. When the palate rotated too far to the right, the hips have to rebalance and rotate to the left. So it creates a torque pattern from the pelvic floor all the way up to your head. And as you do that movement, it unwinds. It's one of the most simple movements, but you can do that throughout the day, a couple times a day when you're starting off to relax the body.